guys! Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out a new foundation that I just got recently, which I think I talked about it before in a previous, previous, a previous post. Um, so we're just going to do like a wear test today, I think, um, just because I want to go to Sephora today and I just want to get out of here. So I'm just going to do basically putting on the foundation, concealer, and powder, and then seeing what it looks and finishing up and coming back and showing you the final product. But yes! If you're interested in seeing this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, tell your sister, tell your friends, hit that notification bell so you get alerted to my post new videos, and keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to start with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm going to use my normal primer dealio so that I kind of like know what I'm getting into, you know what I mean? Like I don't want to use a new primer or primer that I'm not super familiar with because I want to give this foundation a fair shot. Also, I'm Oh, that's been open. I'm going to put on the Touch of the Silk Canvas Primer. Uh, I'm going to close it all the way. Oops. But I just love this stuff. Okay, while that's drying down, I just put it all over my face. Uh, let's talk about some of the goodies that my mom got me from TJ Maxx in Billings, Montana. So she texted me one day, like a couple weeks ago, and was like, Hey, I have found this, I found this, I found this. So eventually we just FaceTimed because that was just going to be way easier for me. She actually got me like a bunch of cool stuff. Um, the first and most important things that she found were the super old Real Technique sponges um, that are, don't, these are the old sponge. So she bought two for herself and then she bought two for me. So obviously I was like super excited and they were only four bucks I think. So yes, thank goodness for that. Um, she also found the Too Faced Melted Latex Lip High shine lipstick in a safe word. It's kind of an awkward name, but it's like this super pretty pink color. And oh my god, yes! Like it's a little bit more bubblegum pink than I thought it was gonna be, but like, look how shiny that is. I don't know. I might. It might be one of those ones that I like mix in because this is definitely not folly. But it was so like hot pink. Like yeah, I love pink. She got me the. Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Crush, which is like, I think this is like a pretty matte finish. Long lasting high pigment matte liquid lip color. And it dries down matte, matte, matte. Comes right here. This one. Which is definitely like a more cool tone off, but like, dang girl. She got that for only $8. So, cool. Um, lastly, she got me the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy Juicy Lip Juicy Color Plumping Lip Gloss in Milkshake. Um, milkshake brings up most of the yeah, It's better than yours. That's from my yeah. Which is like such a pretty color. It doesn't really show up as a color, but it's so plumping and I love it. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. Okay, let's talk about this foundation that I will be trying today. Everyone excited to find out what it is? Okay, I am trying the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Yay! So this was not available in the United States for like ever. And it finally was at my Ulta and so I was like, I have to get it. It is $12 at Ulta. Um, and it comes in 24 shades. So, oh, there is a lighter shade. I got F1, which is Fair Skin Tones with a Neutral Undertone. I was swatching them and they get really dark really fast. At least for like a fair, like in a fair sense of the term dark, like they're not dark. But, and it looks like, I felt like the darker tones didn't really get that dark and there was not very many mediums. But like when I was getting up to like F3, F4, they were getting like the light skin tones. They were too dark for me, so I don't know. There is a lighter, a 0 0.05 available online only, but I did get the F1, which is the lightest one available in the store. Currently, it has four stars, 316 reviews, some information about it, lightweight yet buildable coverage, skin true shades, versatile foundation, designed to suit every skin type and tone, oil-free yet creamy and comfortable, dries down to a long-lasting demi matte finish, won't settle into fine lines or clean to dry patches. It is this nice glass, hear that? Glass bottle with a huge doe foot, which I will attest to and I'll show it to you. Um, this foundation can, this foundation offers highly pigmented coverage that can be layered or diffused to suit your look. 
Swipe on and blend out to ramp up the coverage for a real skin finish that diffuses blemishes and uneven skin tone. Or let your complexion's natural character shine through using a small amount with a damp beauty sponge for a veil like coverage. I'm excited. I haven't even opened it yet. I have no idea. So I was thinking of doing a wear test today, so I'm gonna put this on and do all my like base stuff and then show you the final product. Product. And then I'm gonna just Sephora for a little while. And then come back later and give you some like wear test updates. My primers have dried down. They're pretty, um, what do you call it? Like tacky. That Tatcha Silk Canvas is so tacky and I love it. I feel like it just, I, I don't know. It's expensive, of course, but like it is lasting me forever. So. Also, how cute are my little antlers, you guys? I'm so excited. It's Christmas time. I got those from Bucky's for like eight bucks. Which, if you don't know what Bucky's is, like, come to Texas. It's a, the biggest, bestest convenience forever. Okay, so look at that giant doe foot. That's next to my face. This is Tarte. This is Makeup Revolution. Do you see that? Look how big that is. It's insane. Is that even in focus? Look how big that is. That's insane. So, um, I'm excited to see how this looks. It looks so dark on my hand. But, or on the bottle, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a little bit on my hand to see if it oxidizes. There we go. It looks like it's gonna be an okay color for me actually, so that's good at least, but let's see. Oh, it's definitely neutral, I like that. I have no idea how much we're gonna need, so let's just start with one half of my face and see how that looks. It's a little painty smelling, um, sort of like the wet and wild, but let's see. That swishing sound is the dofa going back in. So let's blend this down, she. That's a little late for me, but oh, it's fine. Okay, that's one half of the face blended out. I feel like it kind of blended out to nothing. Like it's definitely providing some coverage, but I'm sure it builds up too. But I, I think I like the way it looks on the outer parts, where that's like my biggest concern because you'll do you'll do know I put concealer on. So that does look really, really nice. It like really evened out the skin tone. It still looks really natural on my face, which I like that. I'll finish the other half of my face and then I might add a little bit more into my cheeks. This is without foundation. And this is with. So that is one layer. It looks really nice. Like it's very natural. It actually blended out to looking like my, looking pretty similar to my skin tone. Um, it does look like it's drying down a little bit darker, which I don't mind because it was a smidge light. Just keep that in mind when you're purchasing it, um, if you do decide to purchase it. But this looks pretty good, actually. I wish it was covering up a little bit more, so maybe a, a brush would have been better to try it with. I'm going to have to try a brush next time I use it. But I'm going to add a little bit more just right out here. Just a little bit more coverage. Just go ahead and grab. This is the Morphe Y6 brush, just ten dollars. I'm just gonna, yeah, let's do that. Oh wow, okay, that's already way better coverage. Do you see how that much better that looks? I should have done one half with the sponge, one half with the brush, but that's okay. It's just like packing the product on, and I oh, that looks so good, y'all. Look at that, right here, right here, compared to right here. You see that? Okay, so this might be. Better with a brush. Okay, let's put a little bit more on then. Because <laughs> this looks really nice now, actually, with the brush. I'm gonna put a little bit more here and here and here. And then we'll put a little bit more right here too. It's kind of a watery consistency, but like not like a drippy watery. Does that make sense? Wow. That looks nice. I like the way that looks actually right now. So I'm just gonna bounce this out. I just like to use the sponge to really like press it into the skin. Especially after using a brush. Sometimes you can get like those streaky lines, which I don't like. Which I don't think anyone likes. It looked like there was a little bit up on my forehead. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Y'all. Damn. I'm going to put a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair on now. This is, I just can't seem to like get myself to stop using the Tarte Shape Tape, of course. Maybe because it's the best, but... And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Fair and just put it right on this pimple right here. Just a little bit more coverage. We'll see if I need it anywhere else to get that out, but just to make sure that that's nice and covered. It's not meant to highlight. 
It's not a highlighting concealer, it's a coverage concealer. And it like matches my skin tone pretty well, so I always start with that so that I know that. Especially if you have like a pimple right here, you want to start with that um, concealer that matches your foundation and your, your skin tone so that you don't put the highlighting concealer over there. Does that make sense? And then blend it out under the eyes. Sorry if you can hear my laptop. I'm going to go ahead and set my face, my concealer, with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 05 Fair. My favorite setting powder. It's like the perfect lighter shade. Um, I wish I could get the next darker for my full face, but it's just too dark for me, so. And that dried down so nice, it actually didn't get that much darker. Like, maybe a little bit, but I think it dried down to match my face, which is what I wanted. I think I'm the only one that Tarte Shape Tape creases on, actually. No one else ever says it creases for them, but Tarte Shape Tape creases like a MF for me. I don't do this all over my face. Just because it is very light, I really just do it when I'm trying to highlight. And then for the rest of my face, I use the Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral, which, if you've ever watched any of my videos, knows smells very strongly of Grandma, but is the best powder. Like, seriously, it doesn't get any better than this powder, especially for, like, considering the affordability of it. It's only, like, seven bucks. And I've had this forever. I think that, like, Overnight, the powder just like re like breeds or something and reaccumulates. So weird. I feel like it's not getting any less full, <laughs> which I don't hate. I mean, shoot. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques powder brush and brush this all extra powder away. Here we go. Let's take a final look. All right, let's do our count. It is now. Oh, I you don't have to look at it. It is now 10:56. Oops. You see that? Ugh, I light that up, there you go. It's 10.56, 10.57 now. So that will be our starting point for this wear test. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up. Oh, no, it looks a little bit patchy like up in here in my forehead, which I was worried that it was. But, but for the most part, everywhere else looks really good. It's just my forehead that looks kind of patchy. Um, I did a mask yesterday, like a deep cleansing mask, so my skin could be a little bit dry right there, which is my fault. So I'm not gonna hold it against this foundation. I'm gonna keep trying it. Overall, it looks really, really nice. I hope that this is a long lasting foundation. But I'll definitely be checking in throughout the day to give you updates. But for right now, I am going to, I'm gonna go fit. <laughs> for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and go finish up my makeup and I'll be back to show you the final look before we head to Sephora. Yes, be right back. Hey guys, so I finished up the look. So I was just gonna do um, a light eyeshadow look today, but then I really got into it and I ended up getting this super warm tone. There's like some oranges and like a cranberry, which I guess is more cool, but I ended up actually doing my first cut crease. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and of course I thought I was recording and it wasn't. So I'm definitely gonna try that again. It's so fun, I love the way it looks. I just did like a silver, or not silver, a gold highlight like as my eyeshadow here and I'm obsessed with it. It's like a like a goldy bronze champagne highlight, not a yellow gold. So I really like how it just like brightened the eye and everything with this cranberry on the outside and then you can just see this orange up here in the crease. Um, I'm obsessed, you guys. Like, I haven't worn this much eyeliner since like eighth grade, but that's fine. Um, I think it was necessary, otherwise it just looked really unfinished. Um, so yeah, what do you think of this look? The lips are a little bit more cool tone than I would normally pick. And I really just don't like lip products, so I'm like really struggling. So actually, I was thinking about this. Last time I was at Sephora, the security guard was like following me around. I went in there with like no makeup, had my glasses on, had like workout clothes on or something. Literally, the security guard was following me around, which I was like, stop. So now, I clearly don't look like a homeless person, so maybe they'll leave me alone. It's really hard to enjoy your shopping spree whenever the security guard is following you around thinking you're stealing stuff or something. I'm like, I am not stealing anything. I am paying for all of these products. That's all I have to say. So, this is the final look, you guys. This was so much fun. I'll definitely have to reshoot a cut crease look because I love how it looks. <gasps> I'm really getting into eyeshadow in case you didn't tell. So yeah, I hope you like this look. 
which I know this is just a wear test, so I'll be back in a little while to tell you all about what I think of this product. Um, my start time was just before 11. It took me a minute to put on my eyeshadow, but I was just like messing around, so it's a little bit closer to 11.30 now, but that's okay. I'm gonna head off to Sephora when I get back, and then later tonight, I will give you a final, well, maybe I'll do two check-ins. We'll see. I hope you like the look, you guys. I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, okay, so I'm here for a check-in. It is 3.08, so it's been about four hours, a little over four hours. Um, it's definitely getting shiny. Like you can see I'm pretty glowy, but it's not like enough that I would be like, oh, I got a blot. So, so far so good. Um, don't mind my friend here. I noticed that this foundation has, doesn't really, has a great, doesn't have great staying power. Then been evidented, evident, evident, evidented by, evidented by, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say, by this, um, because this is popping through. So that kind of sucks, but my eyeshadow is still holding up, you guys. Look how that looks, damn. Yeah. Just so far, security guard was not following me around. I did not get asked to get color matched 800 times like I did last time. Everyone was very nice and like, just there if I needed them. So I also stopped at Walmart on my way home and got, um, you please tell me you've heard of this. It is the uh, Maybelline lipstick in Bodice Beige. If you haven't heard of this lipstick going around, then you haven't like been living. Um, I tried to put it on a little bit, but that ABH matte lip does not want to come off. But like, look how good that looks even together. I'm like, wow. So, I'm pretty excited. I searched high and low for this and I found one. So, I'm trying to update you again later today. It's only been four hours. Four hours. It really needs to last longer than this. I really wish it was a little bit not as shiny. Because I expected more. I thought this was going to be super, super mattifying for some reason. But I guess not. Also, it does say it's full coverage, which I don't agree with that. But, okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. So, it's 5.47. It has not even been seven hours and I am so shiny and it's like broken up all over my face. It's, it's not cute. I'm going to take a blotting sheet and let's see if we can improve this. <laughs> Do one half of my face and see. That's half my face blotted. Blotted. Not blotted. It definitely looks better once you blot it, but I cannot see this lasting for 12 hours. Like, it looked really good, like, when I first put it on. But I'm not gonna, I don't think, this isn't, like, my gonna be a go-to foundation for me, I don't think. Which totally sucks, because you all know I love the concealer, but dying. Do you see this highlight? I tried out the Fenty Beauty, um... How many carrots or something? Like the all over diamond veil? I didn't put all over, but I used it as a highlight. Shoot. It looks better now that I've blotted. I will say that. Like it's definitely mattified again. And this might be really good for someone with like not super oily skin like me. I couldn't see myself wearing this in the summer. I don't know. I might try it with like a more like a lighter coat of stuff. A lighter coat of foundation. Just to see like how it looks with just like a sheer coat. Because I mean just say full coverage and it definitely built up once I use a uh, a brush. But we'll see. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Y'all, I love this color. It's the pink packaging from Maybelline. 050 Baddest Beige. Look at this color. It's like the perfect peachy neutral. And I'm obsessed with this packaging. This is not a long lasting foundation. It's like completely gone. Well, and I just scratched it off, so <laughs> completely gone on my chin. Just. So other than right here, which is, you can see like all my pores are showing through. Up in here, like I just look so textured. I mean, if I just continued to blot, like sure we'd be fine. We can't be doing that all day, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is not gonna be a long wearing foundation for me. Super bummed. I might try it with some other primers and see. I'm definitely going to keep giving it a try because I do like the color. I like the consistency. I like how well it builds up. But I just wish it was longer lasting. Dang. It sucks, man. 
And I love that. I wish it was a pump, but I, I like the packaging. I think it's very cool. It's different. I wish it smelled better though. But we'll just keep giving it a try. I wish there was also lighter shades because this is the lightest shade in that you can get in a store and it is not that light. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up. I didn't even tell you what time it was. It's 8.48. I'm going to wrap it up. Call it a night. Take it all off. And go to work tomorrow. So, thanks for stopping by, you guys. Please sure, to, well, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Tell your sisters, tell your friends. Hit that notification bell so you alert when I post new videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.